Hi friends, welcome to my session on uh, MATLAB for financial engineering. In this video, I'm going to talk about this course that I'll be taking on Wizik. I'll probably upload some of the videos of the course on YouTube. So this course is about MATLAB and financial engineering. I'm going to take you through uh, my course plan and a little introduction to MATLAB and how it can be used in financial engineering things that I'm going to target in this video is financial time series and uh, some of the features of MATLAB and some financial models that you can run on MATLAB something about myself I am uh, uh, giving the CFA and FRM charter exams I've cleared level 1 of both I am also teaching GRE and GMAT and I have uploaded some of the videos on GRE and GMAT as well Disclaimer, MATLAB and MathWork, all these terms are copyrighted to MathWork and respective agencies. This video is for learning, research and reporting about how to use MATLAB for finance. I don't represent MATLAB or MathWork, nor am I authorized trainer by MathWork. And I don't claim or guarantee any accuracy of my information. Okay, let's get down into it. So uh, there are three languages that are used extensively in the financial engineering world today. SAS, MATLAB and R. Now depending on your usage, depending on your experience, you'll pick, an, pick any one of them. If you want something which is open source, then R fits in your requirement. If you want something which is very easy, then it's MATLAB. If you want something which is more toward data handling part, you want to handle huge data and you are not bothered to write some codes and you don't uh, worry about uh, getting into the complexities of SQL and other things then it's as for you so all of these three languages have their own advantages the advantages why I am picking MATLAB here is because of the learning is you can learn it very quickly it's quite simple the coding is quite simple and it's uh, a language of maths now uh, if you were to use my, uh, the same learnings you can do them on R as well because R is again uh, very similar to MATLAB there have been some comparison on internet between R and MATLAB there are some PDF I've uploaded the links uh, again on my blog and uh, which you can get from me about uh, comparison of R and MATLAB so to learn MATLAB for financial engineering you don't require any programming experience and uh, MATLAB is uh, quite straight ahead you just need to know a little bit about financial engineering and if you don't know that I'll take you through with some of these models now one of the areas which I would be focusing in my course is financial risk and in financial risk if I were to talk about four major theories it's a Merton model it's a Monte Carlo simulation it's a Black Scholes and it's Copula for uh, finding out the uh, correlation and the uh, CDS pricing so these are the four things that I would focus in financial risk in this course and probably what I plan is that after you take it and after you get through it you will be able to learn Monte Carlo simulation for things like uh, uh, mortgage mortgage backed securities based on the interest rate models and you'll be able to price using uh, black shoals you'll be able to also calculate the distance to default using the Merton model by the equity prices of the stock and uh, uh, you'll be also be able to understand a little more about what's copula and how to use it to find out the uh, uh, linkages and how to look at the carry fall swap pricing so this would be about financial risk in this course now if you were to compare each of these uh, three platforms and we can do all the things that I talked about all four of them on R we can do all four of them on SAS and we can do all four of them on MATLAB as well now R is free it's most often used in universities but uh, in big organization where funding is not an issue they they prefer to buy MATLAB it's expensive but it's what is used if you if the company is looking for hardcore data management and more into analytics rather than financial and quant risk then the company would go towards SAS or if the company is using analytics and they want to learn and they want to uh, get into quant risk and they have already purchased SAS and have people who know SAS then they'll use SAS but if you are a student if you are in university if you are in hardcore quant job maybe MATLAB fits in your requirement better but depending on the situation you do find everything 
so quickly I'll summarize uh, if we were to use for the financial time series we have MATLAB and SAS as an option if uh, data is huge and we don't mind getting into the complexities of programming then we'll use SAS and uh, but uh, MATLAB gives you a lot of uh, graphical interface, toolbars and things like that so that makes things easy for you in fixed income as well okay that was it now something about these small videos that I'm trying to make I'm trying to make this 10 minutes videos to make you aware about what's going on in the financial engineering modeling aspect how to use MATLAB and sensitize you towards uh, new applications of MATLAB now in this entire course uh, I have three focuses of course the primary focus is uh, financial risk but the two secondary focuses that I'll be doing is on financial time series and portfolio analysis so these are the three areas that uh, I would focus on in MATLAB so repeat one more time financial risk would be like which would be like 70 80 percent and another 10 15 percent of FTS and portfolio analysis I'll quickly take you through uh, my all 10 session and what I'll be doing in all 10 sessions now in the first session I would be more focused toward uh, using MATLAB for uh, uh, using MATLAB and understanding what functions we have in MATLAB understanding basic terminologies getting your hands on understanding how to create loop functions structures classes and array in the second session I would be focusing about little bit about quantitative finance I'll talk about derivative fixed income portfolio and war a revision about all the theories then I'll go on and look at arrays structures classes and looping and local indexing in the third session I would be looking at how to create graphs of the data that we have uh, created in session 2 and one thing that uh, I will also prepare you in this session would be regression and time series that we have in CFA level 2 and FRM level 1 so a little bit idea about time series and regression would help you when you get there if you are going on for CFA or FRM okay uh, now in the fourth session it would be again a revision of uh, structures and we'll be getting into more details and we'll be using more logical operators strings advanced data analysis and visualization and from this part I would take you through with all the quant aspects like copula in MATLAB, extreme value theorem, Pareto distribution, Monte Carlo for mortgage backed securities, portfolio construction and portfolio war. In session 5 we would be looking at polynomial optimization, integration and differentiation all these mathematical aspects basics of how to do these things how to create a polynomial, how to run the optimization equation on MATLAB. In the quant part we'll look at Merton model and we'll look at uh, CDS. Now this if you were to refer to some book it's uh, FRM credit risk that would help you to understand these things. Now in session 6 we are going to look at five toolboxes on finance which are there in MATLAB and we'll take uh, we'll look at what all we can do from them okay so this is uh, something about the credit risk analysis on MATLAB uh, we have the Merton model we have the CDS pricing phenomena we have the interest rate dynamics on how to predict the future interest rate again trenching and securitization based on how uh, to distribute all those trenches and some SIA conventions so this is all what we can do in credit risk uh, aspect then we have the financial time series again very uh, interesting part in MATLAB we'll have an introduction of how to do that if you were to refer to some book check out this handbook of financial time series then there would be an introduction about portfolio construction we'll look at CAPM theory CML, SML, Alpha and all these performance metrics on uh, MATLAB okay so time series again an interesting part and uh, one of the most famous things but my focus here would be on risk but I'll take you through a little bit about time series as well as far as the financial derivative goes there are three favorite theories that are there Black Scholes for uh, derivative pricing Monte Carlo and Merton model for uh, finding out the distance to default and the probability of default for 
bonds and uh, session 10 is open for anything that is required now if you were to check something about MATLAB there are three uh, notes that are available on the MATLAB website so financial toolbox user guide the biggest uh, and the comprehensive uh, guide about all features it's around uh, 1500 pages file then we have the fixed income toolbox which is a part of again uh, the financial toolbox guide it's a 200 NH page document and there's a comparison between MATLAB R of 50 pages so if you were to refer to understand what's going on in MATLAB just check out uh, this financial toolbox users guide and uh, our focus would be on five aspects in in this area one is the portfolio credit risk financial time series and a little bit about market risk so this would be given to you in 10 lessons in a 10 minute YouTube videos if I am allowed to do that and otherwise you can join my course on Visic as well now interesting part here is that with this course if you have not planned in or if you are uh, in the future thinking about FRM and CFA then this would be a little bit helpful to you because you will be knowing how to use those uh, uh, quant and uh, how to do them on MATLAB so that would help you a little bit now of course this learning could be uh, used and expanded to R or SAS as per your requirement and these are some of the resources on MATLAB one is uh, uh, the book there are two books and two links of MIT okay so that was it from my side and uh, see you in the next video thank you for watching this bye bye